Lasagna is a family favourite and this vegetarian version is no different. It's packed full of veg and is so full of flavour, no one will miss the meat. So the first thing we're going to do is start cooking our base. We've got extra virgin olive oil, some finely chopped onion, celery and finely chopped carrot. We're just going to cook this until it's softened and lightly caramelised. While your onion mixture is cooking, we're going to soak our dried porcini mushrooms to rehydrate them. To our onion mixture, we're going to add finely chopped garlic and then some finely chopped eggplant, which will form the base of our sauce. You can add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil here because the eggplant will soak it all up. Now cook this for another 10 minutes or until the eggplant is lightly coloured. Now we're going to add thinly sliced Swiss brown mushrooms, tomato paste, and my secret ingredient, sun-dried tomato pesto. Just give that a good stir. And you want that tomato paste to really caramelise again, just to give it that nice depth of flavour. Now we're going to add our spices. We've got toasted fennel seeds, smoked paprika, and some ground allspice. And then our lovely chopped herbs. We've got loads of sage, some chopped rosemary leaves, and some thyme leaves as well. And just give that another good stir. Now that our mushrooms are softened, we're going to add tomato passata. Then we're adding our soaked porcini mushrooms and the soaking liquid. This will give it that beautiful nutty flavor. Some fresh bay leaves. And we'll give our sauce a light seasoning now and then taste it again later and check the seasoning then. Now just bring this to a simmer and leave it to simmer for about 45 minutes or until it's nice and thick and reduced. While your sauce is simmering, you can start making your bechamel. Now bechamel might seem a little bit intimidating, but this one I promise you is worth the effort. It's got three cheeses and it's very, very simple to make. We're going to start by melting unsalted butter. When your butter has melted, add your flour and stir to combine. And at this stage, you're cooking out the flour. Okay, so this is the part where things can get a little bit tricky, but what you need to do here is add your milk gradually and it will prevent any lumps from forming in the bechamel sauce. So add about a quarter of a cup at a time and stir really well in between each addition. And then season lightly with salt and pepper. When you've added all of your milk, bring the mixture to a simmer. You can keep stirring this occasionally. You want to simmer it for about five minutes until it's slightly thickened. Once your bechamel is slightly thickened, just remove from the heat. And now we're going to add our three cheeses. So we have parmesan, which we've finely grated, some gruyere cheese, which you could substitute with cheddar if you can't find gruyere, and then our grated mozzarella. Now we're going to start assembling our lasagna. We're going to start with about a cup of our eggplant sauce, then a few lasagna sheets. I like this recipe because you can arrange the lasagna sheets to fit your pan, so you can just tear them and layer them. And then a big ladle full of our bechamel. And then we're just going to keep layering, finishing with a layer of lasagna sheets and bechamel, which we'll scatter with mozzarella. Our lasagna is ready to go in the oven. I've placed it on another baking tray just to catch any bubbling cheese. We're going to put it in the oven at 160 for about 40 minutes and then increase the oven temperature to 180 just to get it nice and golden at the end. The lasagna is now ready to eat. I've had it resting for about 20 minutes and I'm going to finish it with fresh basil leaves and freshly ground black pepper. This hearty lasagna is a great meat-free meal that you can eat straight away or prep for later in the week. For this recipe and more, head to delicious.com.au.